Learning to code can be daunting, but Apple's trying to make it simpler with a new iPad app called Swift Playgrounds aimed at kids middle school age and older. This app lets you get hands-on with Apple's Swift programming language, but it feels like you're playing a game. Let's take a tour through the preview version available now in the public beta of iOS 10. The final version of Swift Playgrounds will be free in the App Store when iOS 10 launches this fall. When you launch Swift Playgrounds, first you'll download one of the free lessons or challenges. The playgrounds sit on this shelf and you just tap one to launch it. But here's a cool tip. If you have more than one person using the same iPad, you can duplicate any playground on the shelf. Then just tap this button to reset the duplicate back to its original state. That way, each person can work through the lesson at her own pace. Introduction to Swift uses friendly analogies to introduce the concepts you're about to learn. The later lessons reinforce those concepts, but they use real coding terms like function and algorithms so you learn the proper vocabulary. In each lesson, you'll write code on the left side of the screen to control a little character named Byte on the other side of the screen. But don't worry, you aren't thrown in the deep end to write new code in lesson one. At first, Swift Playgrounds gives you the commands you need and you just reorder them. Then you'll learn how to combine them into functions, which you'll eventually loop and keep expanding your skills from there. One thing that makes it easy is the touch layout. The commands you need are all in this quick type row along the bottom of the screen. All you do is drag them up to the coding area, and then you can grab commands and drag them into a new order. Tapping a command will show you more things you can do with it. And if you need to type something that isn't here, tap this button to expand the QuickType row into a full programming keyboard. As you're figuring out how to direct Byte, you can scroll and zoom around his 3D world. After you've entered a few commands, tap the big run button to see how it's working out. Then add a few more lines and test again. If you need help, this button will give you a hint. And when you finally get Byte to his goal, He'll do a little dance, and the app tells you how great you did. If you want to skip around, you can see all the lessons here. And to try one over again, tap the ellipsis button and hit reset page. I've been having so much fun with Swift Playgrounds. My only wish is for a fast forward button to speed bite along when he's testing long programs. But what's here is terrific, and I can't wait to try more lessons. Swift Playground makes learning Swift feel like a puzzle game, and I'm totally hooked. Yeah.